Leo joins me now. It's so good to see you. Good to so be here. Good to nice see you. to be talking to you I, again. I thought we'd lost you to Australia. No, no, never, <laughs> never. I'm always going to be here. And, yeah. and, and, and lately, I'm, I seem to be making it every summer I'm here because we came last year, did some big festivals. Oh, that's right, the Rewind. The, that was yeah, great. And then the, yeah. Uh, up in Perth and, yeah. and, and, and around. And then the year before, we did a, a major tour. So I can do a big tour of England, it seems, every two years. Well, that's fantastic. Other than that, they get bored with me. No, not at all, <laughs> not at all. But you, so you do bounce between Australia and the yeah, yeah, and I've just been to South Africa, just come back from right. South Africa where I played in Joburg for the first time for years and that was marvellous so look I'm in this lucky situation where my music travels around the world and, and now I don't know I mean next year I'm 70 but it seems to you me, are not yeah I am I'm 69 <gasps> in the on the 21st of this this month Jeez. which is crazy isn't it that is absolutely I have no crazy. concept of this of course because I think I'm 21 <laughs> but I think we all do and I hang around with young people just like we ah, yeah, no, that's, that's the, the best trick. that's the best yes, that's yes. absolutely the trick so this tour <laughs> of the UK kicks off Friday in Glasgow yeah in Glasgow yeah Fantastic. yeah and then Perth and then on and on so I fell 25 feet onto onto concrete Concrete. And I carried on the tour. It made headline news because you make me feel like dancing was number one in America at the time. Yep. And I ended up in Memphis and I was in the dressing room and I, co I had post-traumatic shock. I hadn't bo broken any bones, right. but I was in a ball in the mm. dressing room and I couldn't get out of it. And they found a guy um, in the audience or, or, or backstage, it was an ex Miami Dolphin football player, huge guy, just like your 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 your, 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 <laughs> your writer, yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> so a huge guy, and he picked me up like this, and he said, "Leave him with me." And they they cancelled the rest of the gigs or something like, or postponed them. Yeah, yeah. And he took me over the over the river from Memphis to Huntsville, and and worked me out of this whole thing. And he was marvelous. His name was Michael, and he was just a champion guy. And he said, well, I'm here, you know, because I work with a big guy in town. And I said, well, who's that? And he wouldn't tell me. Uh -huh. And then one day he gave me the telephone. And this is Elvis Aaron Presley. <laughs> I just want to tell you that you make me feel... I was thinking, well, I, there's a photographer, you'd know him, called Terry O'Neill. Oh, yes. He used to be... He, he was with me in America. Took Did all you my think he up. was playing he a He used to prank me. Right. One night he had me up for 12 hours thinking oh, he was... I, I, me thinking he was Bob Dylan. <laughs> and, you know, and I, I believed it. So I was going off to beat Bob Dylan and then Terry phoned me and said, actually, I fooled you. So I thought, I said, Terry, it's you. <laughs> Terry, no, get off. But no, it was it was actually no, sir. No. I, I swear to you, I am I am he. <laughs> and uh, you know, you make me feel like dancing. He said to me, and he said, I want you to come down to the house tomorrow with Michael. Wow. And he said, I, and Michael's told me your schedule. I know you have a few days off. Come and hang with me, and we'll make some music, and we can hang out, and we can have some fun. So I went to bed feeling up a wow. million dollars. Yeah. My God, who gets to meet Elvis? Mm. And um, in the morning, I was listening to the radio. I used to tape the radio from our old cassette machine that I had. And they had, the news came on, um, the singer Elvis Presley has been taken to Memphis Baptist Hospital, dead on arrival. Jeez. At that moment, and this sounds like fiction, but it's not. At that moment, my door burst open. I'm still in bed. <laughs> and Michael runs in and says, look, I've got to go. I've got to be with the family. Yeah. So... He went and Gosh. I never got that opportunity. But years later, a producer called David Foster, who produces Celine Dion, we know David mm. Foster, came into London, wanted to meet with me. I'm thinking, God, my luck's changed. He wants to produce me. And he said, no. He said, I've got the, my wife, Ginger, was Elvis's last girlfriend. He said, we want to have dinner with you because Ginger wants to tell you how much talking to you meant wow. to Elvis. And I was the last person to speak to him. God, that's amazing, um, Leo. I, she, she remembers Elvis going off to bed I think later on, of course, yeah. the doctor came into it. But she remembers Elvis going off to bed, going, I'm going to see Leo tomorrow, I'm going to see Leo tomorrow. Gosh. That's and astonishing. I mean, Bloody hell, that is absolutely amazing. So, so that close. Yeah, So that don't close. call me. Just, no, I don't know. I'm not going <laughs> to. I think that's good advice. <laughs> Listen, tour starts Friday. We'll stick yes. all the dates, as I said, in the website. Thank you, bless Great you. Great to see you. And come back and see us really soon. Thank you. And you look as young as ever, oh, darling. Be behave yourself.